Appreciate it. We'll see. We'll talk to you soon. Now I want to turn to Laura Strickling. She's a resident of St. Thomas who wrote out Hurricane Irma and is bracing for Hurricane Jose. And Laura joins us by phone. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Um, we've been better. <laughs> yeah, you've been in St. Thomas and you have seen what Irma did firsthand. So explain to us what it was like the days leading up to this storm. Uh, and did you get a lot of information? So much tension um, and so much um, information that was incomplete because when you're preparing for a hurricane, we can't know. They, they give you probabilities. Um, early on in the warning process, I looked at flights and thought, maybe we should go. Didn't want to overreact. Um, felt silly for thinking, um, you know, possibly thinking we should leave. But we have a one-year-old, and as a mother, like, you want to get your child out of harm's way. Um, but we waited, we waited, and by the time um, we, we thought maybe it, maybe this is the best route, it was just too expensive to leave, and there weren't flights out. Um, when you're on an island um, like St. Thomas, you can't just drive away. Um, if, there, if the flights are gone, they're gone, and you're stuck. We spent the, um, the whole day, 12 hours, in our basement. Uh, with another family, with a one-year-old, so it was four adults, two one-year-olds. Um, we, uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I can't say I've ever been more terrified in my life. Felt like the world was crashing in around us. We, um, we truly thought for a, a couple of hours that any moment was going to be the moment we died. And <laughs> no parent should have to um, to watch their child. <laughs> And, uh, and wonder what the next minute will hold like that. Mm. What's it like there now, Laura? Um, we don't have a lot of information, and I'd say that's the hardest part. Um, phone sort of is spotty. Um, uh, we, it's like a giant game, game of island telephone. Every time someone walks by or drives by, we get a little more information. We have no idea if it's correct. Um, Facebook has been very helpful. There are Facebook groups that residents have set up to spread information, to um, check in so that family stateside knows who's alive. Um, but again, it's, it's not, um, we don't have um, electricity. We don't have running water. Um, we don't have, um, we can't watch the TV news to see what's going on. Um, we don't even have a radio. So mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I would say the lack of information is, is almost the scariest part. I had, I actually had um, cell service the entire time we were in the bunker yesterday, and I kept my family and friends updated as, as often as Facebook would allow me to upload uh, through the cell service, kept them knowing what was going on. And um, uh, today, the day after the storm, uh, we haven't really been able to post at all. We're feeling much more cut off. Um, it's a little strange to sit in a bunker and watch uh, the eye of the storm approach you on a, on a weather app <laughs> and, you, and uh, I guess it helped us brace a little bit but it was very surreal and then you, you've got H Jose coming behind are you concerned? And, and, no concern <laughs> and how much, well, well you have a one year old right? yes how much supplies do you have? how much longer can you go without stocking up? I, I overreacted I think just enough I have um a lot of diapers. I mean, with a baby, there's certain things you kind of have to have. I have a lot of diapers. I'm hoping we have enough formula. I'm hoping we have, you know, I'm hoping she doesn't get ill. We don't have access. Our hospital is gone. Even if it wasn't gone, it would probably be a good half day hike of a mountain from where we live. We just hope no one gets ill or sick or injured in our house because we have no access. Laura, we wish you the best. Laura Strickling in St. Thomas, you rode the storm out, and Jose is coming right behind. Um, thank you very much for joining us. When we come back, in the path of a deadly storm, as Miami braces for a direct hit, scientists are saying they have never seen anything like this hurricane before. I'm going to ask one of them just how bad he thinks this will be.